Hello people, this is for the Splish Splash. I got a request from one of my followers to do a tutorial when it comes to live streaming using OBS Studio. Today, we're gonna start off doing a basic setup for you guys so you can get started straight away. Let's do it. Here is the website when it comes to OBS Studio and I put the link in the description so you can go there yourself and download the software. Uh, after you've done that you just install it, it should be pretty easy for you to do. And as you can see you can use it either if you're on Windows, Linux or if you're using Apple. So when you have downloaded the software and you have installed it properly and you open it up, it should be looking something like this. Although, as you see, this is my full OBS Studio project when it comes to live streaming. So I've done some different setups because I mainly play on PC, but sometimes I do play on consoles as well. So we're going to first start off just showing how you add a console to your actual OBS Studio project. So first off we're gonna add a scene. We do that by clicking the plus sign or and right click in the box under sources. Uh, so we're naming this tutorial for the sake of this video. As you can see now it's all black. So in order to get the Elgato gaming device in there we have to add it under sources and that we're gonna do by starting to press the plus sign or by right clicking under sources and choose video capture device. Now you can name it as you want, probably it's going to be something soon coming up uh, showing Elgato or something similar. As you may also may see I already have that choice since I've already done that before. So I'm going to choose Elgato for now. So if your console, whatever you're using, in this case it's a PlayStation 4, is properly connected to your PC through your gaming device, it should look something like this and you should be good to go. However, for this tutorial, we're gonna add some more sources because you wanna have maybe a microphone as well, maybe a face cam, and of course, also if you're playing on PC, we have to set up that properly as well. I'm also able to adjust the sound when it comes to the actual gameplay. That's very important to check the volumes uh, when it comes to both the actual gameplay and of course, your live commentary when you're live streaming. But it's time to add another source for PC gameplay, so you're gonna choose display source and again you can name it as you want, maybe the game you're playing, whatever have you, but for now uh, we're gonna go with PC gameplay, I, also here I can choose an already existing one, but for the tutorial I'm doing a new one and as you can see voila, we can see the desktop shining through in many dimensions at the moment. So now you can start up your favorite game and start to play because that will be shown in OBS Studio and therefore also being streamed when you're pressing start streaming but I want to say if you're doing this on PC it's a good idea to actually have two screens two monitors because then you can have all the setup for OBS Studio on one the chat uh, the YouTube or Twitch page whatever where you're streaming and also in front of you on the first screen you can have the actual gameplay that is a recommended thing if you're streaming PC games uh, having two computers is of course also an option, but we're not going into that today. So we're gonna add a video capture device. Again, you can name it as you want. Here it's gonna be face cam. And apparently again, I already have an existing one, so I'm gonna choose that and press OK. Uh, it has to be visible and voila, there you have the face cam. Now mine is cropped, meaning that I have a green screen behind it. That's another tutorial. But it should look something like this. Um, okay, you don't have to do those faces though. And here I'm just showing off uh, like the settings I'm using. Uh, going 1280 through 720. And also I am trying to match the FPS that I have when it comes to the actual gameplay and everything. The other devices. So they are in the same kind of area. Uh, but remember, there's not many face cam that actually can have 60 FPS, so you don't have to worry about that if you're not using a special kind of webcam or and some kind of action camera that is. Now with that said, we're going to move on and we're going to take a look how it actually looks. Here we are, so we can move around me <laughs> on the screen and if you hold down control, you should be able to make yourself smaller or bigger, adjusting to the screen if you want to. Uh, and usually when you have a webcam you might want to put it maybe in a corner or something. If you want to make the box smaller you press down ALT 
uh, while using the mouse and you should be able to make yourself a bit smaller if you want to as well just make it a bit narrow I think otherwise the whole like box with a webcam will take too much space that is up to you and then you can just uh, adjust the whole setting again moving the webcam to your preferred place okay that was the webcam now press the settings tab and here is where the magic happens when it comes to the actual settings for the stream and uh, not much to do under the general tab if you want to change language that's up to you here's where the magic happens when you go into the stream tab and this is very important uh, what's happening here because here you choose the service if you're going to stream for example on youtube youtube gaming or if you want to choose something else like twitch that the kind of thing uh, the principle about it is almost the same and then this is very important because here we have the primary server of the stream and the even more important thing is the stream key you can show it but I won't because this is something you should never share with other people now it's time to go into your platform this is uh, the live streaming uh, page uh, when it comes to my YouTube channel and there's uh, some things to consider there as well the most important thing is the stream key that you will get and implement in your OBS studio uh, you can show it by pressing that button but I won't do that again this is very secret stuff so you're just gonna copy that when you have it uh, highlighted you have to make it visible first but I guess you kind of understand that then you're gonna copy it and we're going back into the OBS studio project again now we're back in the OBS stream section and you're just gonna paste the stream key into there and you're good to go here's the output this is also important I think when we're talking about um, the actual output mode you can just use simple there are ways to do this also in advance but for now for you to get going with streaming leave it as simple the video bitrate should be around 3000 or 3500 this has to do a lot with what kind of PC you have and the internet you're using when live streaming so there are ways to calculate this but I'm not going into that right now also you can see what kind of um, bitrate I'm using when it comes to the audio I have it on 160 which is the highest when it comes to the encoder preset I have used super fast most of the time and that has been working really well for me uh, the other section here is about recording now I am uploading like automatically on YouTube uh, I have that unlisted before I fix the kind of thumbnail and stuff but you can do as you want if you just want to put it up straight away having it public uh, but you can definitely choose your recording path as you saw earlier now in the audio section uh, having 44 kilohertz is just fine 48 is a bit higher it doesn't make a big difference uh, but here you have to choose the audio device this is really important so if you have an external source such as I do uh, you're going to choose that kind of microphone or a headset underneath you have some other options that are not really interesting for you right now so you might just want to leave them as they are and we're going to go on and we'll take a look into the video section now this is the canvas kind of resolution and you're going to have that on 1920 times 1080 and most streamers like me are using the output scale resolution to 1280 times 720 and we're moving on down to the downscale filter and I'm using something called Lanxus and uh, that is you know preferable I mean it's up to you this is something that I have seen working well and giving quite good quality when it comes to the FPS values now this is the tricky thing I am able to live stream in 60 FPS some of you guys may not be depending again on internet and, and the computer itself so if that's the case you're fine going also with 30 fps now this is the hotkeys section and I, as you can see there's quite a lot of things you can choose to do here uh, i'm right now just using actually two i'm switching between two scenes like full webcam and then into the gameplay and back and forth so this is something you can check out and maybe you want to use even more that I'm doing at this point. It's up to you. The advanced tab is not really so much to talk about at the moment. Uh, you see the options here. I haven't really touched it. If you have some uh, thoughts about that or maybe even suggestions and comments, let me know. So to wrap things up, we have learned how to create a scene and add it. We have also named it and later on we have started to add 
some stuff when it comes to sources. We have done that by creating and adding what we need in order to play either with a console or straight on with a PC. We have also added a face cam and I showed you how to apply that. If you're interested, I can also make another tutorial for more advanced usage or users uh, where I can show you how you crop the face cam, for example, and maybe also when you add some text notifications, some background pictures and things like that. Let me know if that is of interest. But right here you have a basic setup that will make it possible for you to hopefully live stream with some good quality. Also, don't forget to put down some time on the actual platform where you're live streaming. Change the thumbnail, put in information and for God's sake, don't forget to make it public. So when you actually hit that start streaming button on the OBS software, you're good to go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments section if you have any further thoughts. I will try to answer your questions. And if I see that there are interests and let me know if you want me to do another tutorial, I can then go into more advanced details when it comes to adding text and uh, fixing the face cam, those kind of things, and maybe uh, a few other things. So let me know if you want to see that and I will do that kind of advanced tutorial as well. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a great one. Bye bye.